the Word of God, multiplication is about to occur. Are you seeing this, my brothers and sisters? I've taught you enough. Come with me to Luke 6.38. I am, just for the record, for the record, Richard, I'm not halfway through my notes yet. Not halfway. Just for the record. Come on now. Luke 6.38. What does the Bible say? Give. What happens when I give? It shall be given. How? Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. And what? Running over shall men pour into your bosom. Who said this? The Father. The Father said that when you obey me at offering time, obey my word, wait on my word, sow what I tell you to sow, and in the act of obedience, multiplication will occur. Amen? Then he says, look out, look out, look out, for with the measure you give, they're going to get measured back to you. What was he saying with that? He was saying these words. Ask me, says God, what measure to sow. So it will correspond with the measure of harvest I have waiting for you. When Vicky and John first came to this meeting, first conference they came to, they needed a breakthrough, a financial breakthrough. And we took an offering, and they could have put anything in that bucket, but they chose to pray. And the Lord spoke to them in that conference and said, $4,000. Whoa, I didn't come all the way to Tulsa to put $4,000 in the bucket. No way, no way. Get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> Never, 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 never did that before in their lives. But God didn't tell them that number because he was trying to hurt them. God didn't tell them that number because he was trying to take their money away. God told them that number because he had a, 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 a check of how much? 98 thousand in this hand ready to give them but could not release it till they sowed in the measure that he wanted to bl oh are you getting a hold of this and when they sowed in the measure God said then when they let go of what was in their hand God let go of what was in his hand what was in his hand ninety eight thousand dollars Where's Felicia? Felicia. When Felicia let go of what was in her hand, God let go of a $97,000 debt cancellation. I remember when Jeff, Jeff and, and Andre Swagger, you came here one time, they planted a seed, uh, probably a big seed for them at that time. They obeyed God, and God already had that business waiting on you. He already had that harvest waiting on you. I remember when Kelly Ashton finally got it. I'm only planting $100. Why am, I, why am I not getting my harvest in thousands? You remember that, Kelly? And God spoke to him. He was sitting right there in that seat. God spoke to him and said, I got something in the right measure to give you, but I can't release it because you're not releasing the right measure. And it was the first time Kelly Ashton sold into a ministry $1,000. Am I right? Within three months three months, how much increase did you have in your income? $75,000 God had waiting in his hand. Could not give it to him because he kept putting $100 in the bucket. And I love Kelly. I'm not putting him down when I say that. But the day he broke loose and obeyed the Holy Ghost, $75,000 showed up. I'm not making this up, guys. You go around. Uh, uh, you remember uh, 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 Debbie and Steve Trail? When they came, uh, 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 what was that that you planted that time? They planted $1,000. And, and, and God already had how much? $100,000 God had ready for this couple. 
And God was holding it in his hand and could not release it till they obeyed God. And when they obeyed God, boom, how long did it take for it to come? Six months, boom, 100,000. Are you seeing this? My brothers and sisters, I'm not here to try and get you to part with your money. I'm trying to get you blessed. Amen. And God don't bless anything but obedience. You're going to have to pray, and you're going to have to obey. Are you seeing this, my brothers and sisters? I could go all around the room. There's so many more I haven't even talked to yet just because of time. Amen? But you got to pray and obey. Galatians 6, 6 says, let him who receives instruction in the word of God. How many of you can say you were blessed by the word tonight? Wave to me if you were blessed by the word. All right, then here's what I want you to do. I want you to reach forward and grab an envelope. Reach forward and grab an envelope. If you would, in the second row, please be so kind as to give to the people in the front row envelopes. That would be a wonderful thing to do. If you did not get an envelope, lift up your hand nice and high. I won't miss anybody in the house. Everybody got envelopes. Now, now, now. Everybody look up here. Here's what I want you to do. Every time we pray, God's been telling me different things to write on the envelope. So, so, so everybody just close your eyes for a minute. Don't write anything on the envelope. Just close your eyes for a minute. Lord, I, I need you to tell me what should they put on their envelope tonight, Lord. What should they put on their envelope? I'm inclining my ear. Lord, I'm leaning towards you now. I'm inclining my ear towards you. What should they put on the envelope? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I got it. Open your eyes, right on the envelope, very clear. No more worries. Write it down. Write it down. I heard it so clear. No more worries. We're not going there no more. We're not going there anymore. Not this week, not next week, not this year, not next year, not ever. We are never going to that place again. Write it down. No more worries. No more worries. I heard it so clear. The Lord said, no more worries. The specific thing he said, and you may want to write it down, no more worry thoughts. That was the exact words he said. No more worry thoughts. I said, okay, Lord, I'll tell him. No more worry thoughts. Not going there. Not going there anymore. And no more worry thoughts. Now, you can write also, what else do you want the Lord to do for you? Be specific. But those, that was, I heard so clear. No more worry thoughts. No more. Write it down. Write it down. No more worry thoughts. <clears throat> We've allowed Satan to ride our shotgun for too long. That ain't going to happen anymore. There's things that are going on in my life, in this ministry, that I could easily spend a truckload of time worrying about. But I've rolled that care to him. Yeah, I see that. Right also, rolling all cares to you now. Rolling all cares to you now. Lord, I roll that care onto you now. That's it. That's it. I've given it to you. I'm finished with it. Not going to think about it anymore. Roll all cares. The cares of your health, roll it onto him. The cares of your family, roll it onto him. The cares of your daughter, roll it onto him. The cares of your ministry, roll it onto him. The cares of your church, roll it onto him. The cares of your business, roll it onto him now. Now. Write it down. I roll all cares onto you. Not going to pick them up no more. It's finished. It's finished. Roll all my cares onto you now. And there's some, I heard it, I heard it. There's some cares that some of you, those of you watching on the internet, please, uh, I, this applies to you too. 
If you got blessed, then you hit the escape button, go over to the give offering. There's a little white box. You write in there the same thing they're writing here because that same anointing is to get on you right now. Watch this. No more cares. Yes, I heard, here's what I heard. The cares <laughs> that some of you have rolled, you don't have to be specific. You don't have to write down each one. If you want to, you're welcome to. Really? You want me to say that? Okay, my apologies. I made a mistake. Write down on the paper what the care is. Write it down. Because the Lord said the moment they write it down is when they will let it go. I just heard that so clear standing over there. The moment they write it down is when they will let it go. <laughs> write it down. Not general cares. Be specific. I have a care about my health. Write it down. I have a care about my business. Write it down. I have a care about my family. Write it down. I have a care about my marriage. Write it down. My marriage. I have a care about my kids. Write it down. My kids. Write it down. Write it down. Now, some of you may need a book. <laughs> Write down your most important cares. Whatever it is, your children, your ministry, what is that most important care? Write it down. He said the act of writing it down will release it. I heard that so clear standing over there. I'm inclining my ear. Amen. Once you write it down, I promise you, it ain't coming back. Because the act of writing it down is leaving your head, it's leaving your hand, it's leaving your pen, and it's attaching itself to that paper. That's why it ain't coming back now. Your care has just attached itself to that piece of paper. It ain't coming back. Don't write any checks. We're going to pray. We're going to wait on the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Write it down. Be specific. You guys got envelopes over there? Write them down. Whatever you want, just write it down. Because I'm going to pray over those envelopes. Okay, make sure you, you all got envelopes? Please, borrow his pen. Write down the care. Because God told me specifically to pray over the cares of the four of you. So write it down. When I pray, those cares are gone forever. When I pray, it's finished. When I pray now, now faith without works is what? So there's going to have to be a work on your part. That is the word Aragon, deeds and actions of obedience. So in a few minutes, in a few minutes, we're going to pray. And God's going to tell you what measure of seed, which is your work now, to your faith. Faith without works is what? Dead. And whatever he tells you, you obey. I don't care what it is, you obey. Because it is connected to what you've written on that envelope. Amen? Those of you on the internet, you do the same thing. Uh, you know our ministry, I, 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 for those of you that are here for the first time, I'm just repeating myself. We are broadcasting uh, on television in Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq four times a week. Over a million Muslims have given their lives to Christ. God is just doing some incredible... You, you run out of envelopes? You need envelopes? You got one? Or you need a pen? All right. You got a pen. My brothers and sisters, listen to me. Over a million Muslims have given their lives to Christ right now in the Middle East. Uh, their own... Television network. What's it called? Al, Al, the, the Al Jazeera has said 15,000 a week are converting from Islam to Christianity. That's how fast this thing's happening. And my brother and sister, listen to me. We are now broadcasting into the Arabic language. I didn't tell you about this. We just signed a contract. 120 million Arab-speaking Muslims are getting the word of God through our TV program. We're going after it, Richard. We're going after it. We're going to get those Muslims saved. Now, the only thing is, I got to stay here because if I actually go there, they go, they'll kill me, all right? So, so, so help me send the TV program over there so I can stay alive. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Amen? And then we can bring them to Bible schools where we can teach them the Word of God and send them back, which is what we've been doing. So they've been starting underground churches. That's why it's growing so fast, underground churches. Islam is the number one threat to Christianity today. And if we go after those Muslims, guess what? 
They cannot defeat us. Amen? But Jesus loves them, and he wants them saved. So we're trying to raise funds. You know, the, we, we're tr always trying to raise a million dollars because as the money comes in, we put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. We've always done that. Amen? Um, how do we do it? God said, just share the vision, let people pray. I have no idea how many more networks he wants me to go on in the Middle East, but we're still looking. But we need to have funds to do that. Amen? I said, how will we raise the million dollars? He said, share the vision, let people pray. Everybody shout, Pray! Now listen, you listen to your heart. He said, a thousand people sowing a thousand dollars or more. I wish, I wish one of you would just walk up to me and write me a check of a million. Come on now. Come on, Richard. <laughs> that would be awesome. But in the meantime, we're still going after it. Amen. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Kelly said, we're trying. Amen. I, I believe you, Kelly. In the meantime, he said, a thousand people sowing a thousand dollars or more. If God tells you to do that, to sow a thousand tonight or a thousand total into the conference since you came on Thursday, please, please, please uh, go to the tape table. Five things are going to happen to you. You get a harvest of tens of thousands. You literally touch 250 million people through our TV program. You share in every Muslim that gives his life to Christ. You go to the tape table, pick out any 10 CD album, 60 CDs. Go get a bunch of these new ones that we've just released. Take them home. Listen to the Word. Invest in yourself. And then we want to enroll you in our university and even pay for your first course because we know you love the Word. How many of you know one Word of God can change your life forever? Everybody close your eyes. Those watching on the internet, the same thing applies to you. Uh, we're going to pray. And if God tells you to help us to reach the Muslim nations around the world, to sow a thousand or more, you obey God. Now close your eyes while we pray. I thank you, Lord. You've richly fed us your word tonight. And Lord, I know that we're doers of the word. We're not hearers only. And the Bible clearly says, if we've been blessed with the word, then it's right to sow. Yeah, but I sowed yesterday. Well, you got fed again today. Pray and obey. Husbands and wives, please, please pray. Holy Spirit, sir, I'm asking you. Only you know, nobody else in this room knows what cares they've written on their envelope. Only you know what they need, what breakthrough they need in their lives. Those here and on the internet, Lord, I'm asking you, would you please speak to every person here and on the internet, at the sound of my voice, what is that right measure of seed that's going to bring each person's harvest? Would you speak to every person now? Right now, Lord, we incline our ears to you. We close our eyes, we shut our ears off to the world, and we incline them to you. What is it you want us to sow? What measure of seed do we need to sow? Husbands and wives, please, please, please listen to the Holy Spirit. There's only one Holy Spirit. He'll either give you both the same figure, one of you will get it, the other one will have a piece about it. The figure will go from your spirit man to your head as a thought. Be careful, be careful. The devil doesn't try and trick you with another figure to make you lose your harvest. Usually, the bigger figure is God. He can never take you higher in harvest till you go higher in seed. Never see a harvest you've never seen before till you sow a seed you've never sown before. Only an uncommon seed ever brings an uncommon harvest. You say, Brother Nasser, I, I, I'm not even getting a figure. What should I do? You stand on Luke 6, 38. If you were blessed with the word tonight, then always sow in the measure that you want your Father to bless you. I want him to bless me in hundreds, sow in hundreds. I want him to bless me in thousands, sow in thousands. No, 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 no. I want my daddy to bless me in millions, then sow in tens of thousands. Sow in the measure you want your Father to bless you. Is our ministry good ground? You be the judge. Hundreds of thousands are saved, healed, delivered, and set free. We only teach the uncompromised Word of God. That's why I can release my faith with yours. As you obey the Word of God, <laughs> the anointing of multiplication <laughs> will hit your seed in the act of obedience. I can release my faith with yours for the 30, the 60, the 100-fold return. Everybody open your eyes, write your checks to Wisdom Ministries. It does not go to my wife or I. We're on salary with the ministry. It goes to preach the gospel around the world. Would you please take a moment, get it ready. You can do it with cash, check, or credit card. Get your seed ready. We're about to pray. We are about to pray over your seed.
Thank you, my brother. Those of you watching on the internet, get your credit card information in there quickly, quickly, quickly. We're about to pray uh, uh, and, and release uh, my faith with yours for these cares to forever leave you. Now, when you seal the envelope, when you seal the envelope, get your envelope ready, get your seed in there. When you seal the envelope, seal the care. I heard him say that. When you seal the envelope, seal the care. And when you drop the envelope in the bucket, drop the care. It's gone. So the next time the thought comes to you, just tell him, I, I left it in that bucket at the Wisdom Center. That's where it was. Go talk to Dr. Siddiqui. It's in that bucket. <laughs> I ain't got it no more. Are you getting a hold of this? This is your act of releasing it forever. Amen? God is so awesome. Uh, uh, if you've been one of those that's helping us, please, please, to so a thousand or more uh, and now or, or total, uh, uh, please go to the table. We want you to get. And by the way, I already told them at the table, because we've run out of this one, take orders. We will mail them to the people. Amen? And we'll take care of the postage. We'll take care of that for you. Go to the table. Uh, uh, four steps to your harvest. Step number one, write on the envelope. You did. Step number two, pray. Everybody shout, pray. Step number three, obey. Everybody shout, obey. Step number four, the final part. You got to believe like Jesus. The tree was dead even when there was no change. You got to believe that it's done. And if you will not change your belief and your thoughts and your words, it has no choice but to manifest in your life. Write on the envelope, pray, obey, and then say, I receive. When you say, I receive, you've released once and for all that care. Gentlemen, would you come and serve the people, please? God is so awesome. We got something to give away? Oh, good. What do we give away? We can't give away how to multiply. She's already got that one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it to you now. You can pay them later. But hang on to that. <laughs> what one can we give away? I'd like to give away this one. Uh, uh, how would you like to develop your five spiritual senses? Who would like to develop your five? All right, this is the one we're going to give away this time. We're going to give it away to somebody on the Internet. And there's a bunch of people watching on the Internet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing. Oh, there is one that's coming to me. Mm -hmm -hmm. We gave one to India. We gave one to Hawaii. We gave one to California. Uh-huh. All right. My spiritual son, Mike Broadhurst, who's watching me now in Bluffton, South Carolina. Mike, you have just won this. Give Mike a big hand. Now, Mike, if you're not watching, who am I talking to if he's not watching? <laughs> you ever wonder about that? <laughs> if you're not watching and you don't call, <laughs> hallelujah. You got to get the call, though, before we send it to him. All right, who wants it in this room? All right, all right. Stir it up, 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 stir it up. Mm -mm -mm. There's several hanging onto my hand. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Your wife isn't going out the room. <laughs> Maybe she thinks she's going to be the one. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Is there a name on here? <laughs> all right. Is there anybody in the room with the initials HC? Anybody else? Anybody else? It goes to Heather. Congratulations, Heather. <laughs> I had your name on it. <laughs> oh, God, it's so awesome. Praise God forevermore. All right, we're going to pray over the offering. Is the offering ready? Everybody stretch out your hands towards the seed. Close your eyes. Come into agreement now as we pray. I uh, thank you, Lord. We've heard the word today. The Bible says if we've been blessed, it's right to give. As we give, we're doers, not hearers only. As we give, the Bible says it shall be given back, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men pour into our bosom? Ministering angels now influence men to pour into the bosom of every sower. At the sound of my voice, bring forth the harvest of this seed now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I release my faith with this. For 
over the 30, the 60, the 100 fold. I thank you, Lord, that every care written on these envelopes is gone forever. They will not pick up that thought. They will not spend time on it. And Satan, you cannot talk to them about it anymore because Jesus has it now. So you better talk to Jesus. They have released it and they are covered with the cloak of humility and they will not get into worry and they will not get into pride. I thank you, Lord, with children of faith. We believe, we receive when we pray, and we're going to seal this with a shout of thanksgiving. Lift up your hands and shout like you got it. Put that right there, right there, right on the edge. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are going to spend just, how many of you want to leave here? How many of you want to leave here with direction from God? All right, what we're going to do is just spend a few minutes in high worship. Why? Why do we do that on Saturday nights? Let me explain. In Acts 13, listen to me, in Acts 13, when they worshiped God, God gave direction. What does that mean? That means God said, separate unto me now, Paul and Barnabas, for the work that I've called them to. How many of you would like to leave this conference with direction from the Lord? All right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a few minutes to get into high worship. If the musicians can get into their places, uh, 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 and the worship leader, if he can get into his place, we are going to get uh, into the Holy of Holies. Now, how do you enter the Holy of Holies? Uh, ushers, if you can take the ropes off both sides as quick as you can. Take all those ropes off. Go ahead, ushers. We don't need any catches here. No, we just need the ropes off. All right, both sides, if you'll take the ropes off, we're going to get into high worship. We're going to now... Get before the throne room. How do you get before the throne room? There is a pathway into his presence. Everybody say pathway into his presence. This is how we're going to get in. God lives, my brothers and sisters, in a gated community. He does? Yep, but I know the code. Thanksgiving. That opens the gates every time. And then we're going to go through the gates with thanksgiving. We're going to enter the courts with praise for who he is. But we're not going to stay at the gates. We're not going to stay at the courts. From there, we're going to enter what's called the holy place. And that's where the candelabra and the consecrated bread is. But we ain't going to stay there either. Either The veil is rent. We're going to enter the holy of holies. We're going to come into his presence. And when we come into his presence, I'll lead you there. At that moment, I'm going to ask you to worship him. The word worship is the word shaka in the Hebrew and the word proskuneo in the Greek. And it literally means this, to bow down. So I'm going to invite you at that moment to leave your seats and come join me in the front. And we're going to bow down before him. And we're going to enter the Holy of Holies. And we're going to worship Him. Get your pen and paper ready. Because He's about to give you direction when you come to the front. Would you please stand to your feet? Would you close your eyes? Lift your hands to heaven. With eyes closed, hands lifted up. Standing to your feet. I want to lead you through those gates right now. Close your eyes and see in front of you the gates of heaven. See those gates directly in front of you. The Bible says, the Word of God says, you enter His gates with thanksgiving. So with your eyes closed and your hands lifted up, I want you to start thanking Him right now. Open your mouth and declare those words of thanks. Lord, I thank you that I'm saved. Thank him that you're saved. Thank him that you're healed. Thank him that you're delivered. Thank him that you have a family. Thank him that you have a home. Thank him that you have a ministry. Thank him that you have a business. Thank him that you have a job. Thank him for your children. Thank him for your spouse. Thank him you're filled with the Holy Ghost. 
Thank Him because He healed you every time. Thank Him that He fed you. He took care of you. Open your mouth and start to thank Him now. Lord, we thank You. We thank You. We thank You. I thank You for Wisdom Ministries. I thank You, Lord, for my wife. I thank You, Lord, for my children. I thank You, Lord, they're serving You. I thank You, Lord, for this ministry. I thank You for all the spiritual sons that You brought. I thank You, Lord, that everything their hands touch will prosper. I thank You, Lord, for all the wonderful things You continually do in our lives. I thank you, Lord. Now, as you, with your eyes closed, you see those gates opening. And as those gates are opening, with your eyes closed, see yourself entering the courts. Now you've entered the courts of praise. So now you open your mouth and you praise him. Praise him. Praise him for who he is. You are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, our provider, the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last, the bright morning star, the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah, the great I Am, the Rose of Sharon. Oh, Lord, we praise you for who you are, but we don't have to stay in the courts of praise. No, no, no. You said, come into the holy place. So now, with your eyes closed, see yourself going into the holy place. And as you enter the room called the holy place, you will see on the right side a table. And on that table are 12 pancakes. Those represent the 12 tribes. You will see that on the right side. And on the left side, you will see a candelabra. And with that candelabra, you will see the incense. You will smell the incense as you enter the holy place. And there you see, you hear his voice. And he says, my child, my child, don't you know that the veil is rent? Don't stay in the holy place, but come, come, come boldly into the throne room of grace. Come and bow down at my feet. Come and worship me. Come and worship me. Come and worship me. I invite you, come forward. Let's get into the throne room. Come, let's bow down. Anywhere by the steps, anywhere in this front area. This, all the steps are wide open. Come on, let's worship him. There is a all here, right here on the steps. Come, let's bow down before him. Let's worship 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 him. Let's get on our knees and worship him. There's always room here at the altar. Let's get on our knees and worship him. Worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him.
worship you, my Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. I long to give you praise, for you are my righteous.
I'll speak to you.
sit at my feet and hear my voice. I speak to you. You obey at your choice. the strength and my shield 
surround you in my presence there is liberty liberty for you and liberty for me as you learn to honor my presence oh great things you will see 
for there's liberty here. Are you aware? Can you hear? There's liberty in the room. Oh, draw the people unto Thank you, Lord. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, My child, my child, for too long have you been a care carrier. For I did not call you for that. I called you to be a word carrier. Release those cares, for that is how the enemy has kept you bound. No more, no more starting tonight will you be a care carrier. For you will be my word carrier. Then you will see that not only will all your needs be met, says the Spirit of the living God, but peace. Peace that passes all understanding shall come upon you and rest upon you all the time. Remember the words of my servant. Don't react. Don't respond. You are to deliver my words. Every situation that you're facing, listen for my voice. Incline your ear to me. I have been waiting for this night. I have been waiting for you to learn my word. I have been waiting to manifest signs, wonders, and miracles 
through you. But there have been many times you didn't wait on my word. You responded, you reacted, and you allowed emotion to take control. No more, says the Spirit of the living God. No more. No more. Now, put a guard over your mouth and a guard over your thoughts. Don't let thoughts take you captive anymore. Did I not bring you through that one? Did I not bring you through that one? Did I not bring you through the other one? What makes you think I will leave you now? My word declares, my child, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Forsake means in troubled times. I have always been with you. But what about the hard times that I face, Lord? I was still there. But your words stopped me from moving. They were not my words. They were not my thoughts. Had you waited on me, I would have given you the victory. But it's not over. Retreat from speaking the wrong word and step up and step out in speaking my word. For I watch over my words to perform them. And as you listen and obey, as you attend and incline, as you hear and say, huh, my works will manifest in your life, in your church, and in your ministry, says the Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 We'll just wait a moment. Just incline your ear to him now. Just incline your ear to him. His presence is all over this place. Just incline your ear to him. somebody else has something besides me. Who? I don't know, but I think somebody out there has something that's supposed to do it. <coughs> you have something from the Lord? Yeah. You have something from the Lord? Take the microphone. You need to stand. And if you don't mind, I'll tell you. The Lord told me there's someone else that has something here. The Lord told Ted the same thing. We're just going to stay before his presence. 
If God has something for us, let's get everything. Let's not be in a rush. God's giving you something, you declare it. In, in an environment like this, many times people will hear God if you will attend. It, it's difficult not to hear his voice right now. He's all over this place. I mean, his anointing is all over. His presence is all over this place. It's like a cloud in here. I had that word from the Lord. Ted had songs from the Lord. And we both knew that there was somebody that had something else. My brother Bill has something from the Lord, and I want him to flow in it. Hallelujah. 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 Just stay in his presence. Just close your eyes and stay in his presence. Thank you. I need you, Lord.
Worshipping, I heard this again, that this needs to be our heart cry. I was going to sing it soft, but you just go ahead. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to just say it and sing it to God. I give myself away.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just keep playing the guitar. The presence of God is all over this place. I asked the Lord what to do. And so the Lord said that just to pray and to lay hands on people that are really serious about giving their lives to the Lord. Those that want to be used by God. Those that are ready to put your plans in his hands and take his plan. Those that are ready, I give my life away. Put my life in his life. I'm not my own. I belong to him. If you're ready, the Lord said lay hands and release an anointing. That's all I know. But he said, if you're ready to give your life away, to take on his plan, then I'm going to lay hands on you tonight. What we're going to do, we're going to do this, and they're going to still play soft. We're going to separate the room in half. People on this side of the room, I want you to line up along that white wall. People on this side of the room, I want you to line up along that white wall. And then quickly... One of the ushers will line them up. Theo, start lining them up. Both sides. Tell them to start sending the people. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. On both sides, let's sending them now. Send 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 them now. Quickly. Quickly. When you come up here, I want you to come as close to the steps as possible. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. 
I want you to close your eyes quickly, quickly. By now, we should have had 10 people lined up. Come on. Close your eyes, lift up your hands to heaven in a form of surrender to give your life to Him, to give your plans to Him. I give you my plans. We'll softly sing that song. I'll give you my plans. No more my plans. No more my words. No more what I want to do. No more what I want to say. From now on, what does the Lord want you to do? What does the Lord want you to say? When you come up here, just close your eyes. Lift your hands to heaven. Don't speak. Don't pray in tongues. Just receive. There's an anointing in this house right now. God's going to give you, yes, Lord, strength. Strength. Strength to do his plans. Not your plans. To say his words, not your words. And not to say when you're not supposed to say. To overcome every trial, every obstacle. That anointing. Yes, Lord. To overcome every temptation and every weakness that has beset you. Those weights that have held you captive from fulfilling the perfect plan to release those tonight. To release those tonight. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. You don't have to fall to get anything. But when the anointing gets on you, it can get heavy. Just receive it. Just receive it. The anointing. The anointing. I release it now. Deeper, deeper, deeper. We've got catches that'll put you down gently. Put him down gently. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. This is why you came up. This is why you came up. I release it now. Put her down gently. Thank you, Lord. Just take it. Take it. It's all over this place. All of it, all of it, all of it. Just put it down. All of it, all of it. You walk up here, you're walking into a wall of the anointing. It's all over this place. Just take it, my brother. Just take it. I release it now. Thank you, Lord. Just take it. Take it. Always. Just, re just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Your life is not your own. Now flow in my plan. Just receive it, Margaret. Just receive it. This is why you came. This is why you came. This is why you came. All of it. All of it. Take it all. Take it all. Take it all. I release the fire. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it, Nana. All of it, 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 all of it. Just receive it, Linda. I thought the other line now. Just receive it, Linda. Just receive it. Just receive it. This is why you came. All of it, all of it, all of it. You're in his arms now. Lift your hands to heaven. Close your eyes. Just receive now. Just receive is why you came. You came for that anointing. You came for that strength. You came for that power. Just take it all. Take it all, Felicia. All of it. 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 I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for Jeff. I thank you, Lord, for Jeff. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. And say only what I tell you to say. And you will see the fire of the Holy Ghost flowing, 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 flowing in you and through you. Take it off. Take it off. 
Take it all. That's why you came. Deeper, deeper. Take it all. Take it all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The anointing. 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 I release it. I release it. I release it. I release it. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. All of it. All of it. All of it, Anna. This is why you came. I release it now. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. All of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take it, 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 take it. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for Pastor James. I thank you, Lord, for the calling on his life. I thank you, Lord, for his hunger. For those you fill those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. Lord, let him leave this place with a fresh fire and a fresh anointing for signs, wonders, and miracles to flow in his church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Mary. Take it all, Mary. You know how to drink. You know how to drink. You know how to drink. I release that anointing. Let it flow. Fire, 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 fire. Thank you, Lord. 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 I release that fire now. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for Christopher. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. No, you will not turn. You will follow my voice and my plan. You will stay the course. Hmm. For as you honor me, says the Spirit of God, I will fulfill every desire of your heart. Now receive the anointing. Thank you, Lord. 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 My calling has never changed, for my gifts and callings are without repentance. I never take them back. Don't let those thoughts concern you anymore, for I love him even more than you do. And I will not let him go astray, says the Spirit of the living God. Now receive the anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Simone. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. This is why you came. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Just take it all, Bill. Take it all. This is why you came. You came for this gift. You came for this anointing. I release the fire. Thank you, Lord. 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 You came for this anointing. You came for this fire. And a fresh fire. And a fresh fire. And a spirit of boldness coming on you. Fire shut up in your bones. <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I release that fire. Deeper. Deeper. You're in my arms now. Take it. Take it. Take it. All of it, all of it, all of it, girl. All of it, all of it, all of it. Put her down. I thank you, Lord. Just take it, take it, take it, take it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hindrances that came. He could not attack you because you're full of my word. So he attacked somebody close to you. But that doesn't matter. None of that can manifest. For your words have surrounded him and your words will come forth for your words are my words says the spirit of the living God just receive it Jeannie just receive it the anointing the anointing the anointing I release the fire the fire the fire the fire the fire Ooh, put her down gently thank you Lord thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Koroma, koroma sare, miro, shoro, mare, mio, kiro, mama, asakati. Fire flowing from these hands. Lay them on the sick, my child, and you will see signs. Thank you, Lord, for rope. The fire, the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it flow, 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 flow. Put her down gently. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it, Kathy. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. It's all over you. The anointing. 
the anointing, the anointing, the anointing, the anointing, the anointing. Let it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Rachel. I thank you, Lord, for her life. Coming all the way here from England to receive the word. That word, let it flow into her heart and produce much fruit. Never to be the same, Rachel, not after this night. No, 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 no. It's my plan, not your plan. It's my plan that will carry you. It is my plan that will fulfill the desires of your heart. It is my plan that will open doors that no man can close. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Paul. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Paul. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Paul. Ma, 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 ma. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Paul. So much more, so much more I have in store for you, son. So much more. Stay open to my word and my anointing. A fresh hunger to fulfill the plan. A fresh hunger and a fresh fire you leave with this place. A fresh fire. You know my voice. You hear my voice. Now, speak those words. Teach what you've learned. Let them become mouthpieces for me, and you will see. I will not only fulfill every desire of your heart, but I will build the church. Now receive the anointing. Deeper, deeper, deeper. All of it, all of it. Let it flow into him now, Lord. Ooh, you're in his arms now. Ooh, take it, take it all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, have I not fulfilled the desires of your heart in the past? And you know I will again. Stay close to me, says the Spirit of God. Say only what I tell you to say. Don't listen to anyone else. Don't say what other people are saying. You say what I'm telling you. And I will do the works. Receive the anointing now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Amanda. Thank you for Amanda. Thank you for Amanda. I thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you for Amanda. Roll that care to me tonight, Amanda. No more. No more. I will take care of it, says the Lord. I will take care of it. Release it to me tonight. I will take care of it. You've prayed to me already. Now release it. Let it go tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. The fire. The fire. The fire. No more condemnation. No, no, no. You are my champion. Take it. Take it all. I release it into you now. In Jesus' name. Put him down. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This mighty woman of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Shoroma. Shoroma sare. Mesiro oko toro mama asakati. Mesikitiro koro mama mama makai. You've stepped out in a measure in the gifts that I've placed in you. But there's more. There's more gifts I've placed in you. More. You've seen a glimpse of it here and a glimpse of it there, but you've never stepped in the fullness thereof. But starting this night, as you leave this place, the anointing is coming on you in a manner you've never known before, and you will go and you will flow. Shoma, shoma, sorry. I thank you, Lord, for Pastor. I thank you, Lord, for Pastor. I thank you, Lord, that anointing, that fresh anointing, that fresh anointing, that fresh anointing. And every situation that you left back there, I'm about to turn around. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive, Karen. Just receive. Just receive the anointing. The anointing. I release the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. The anointing. The anointing. Just receive it, Andrea. Just receive it. The anointing. The anointing. 
the anointing that you came for. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Thank you, Lord. 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 Just receive. Just receive. Deeper. <laughs> Let it flow, flow, flow. Just receive it, Stephen. Just receive it. The whole wall of anointing in you. I thank you, Lord. Let it flow into him now. Let him have an encounter with the true and the living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor David. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor David. Thank you, Lord, that he has your heart. He has your compassion. And now, as you speak my words, <laughs> you'll see the miracles. I thank you, Lord, for Mary. I thank you, Lord, for Mary. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Mm, 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 mm. There it is. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Put it down. Always put it down when the anointing is on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Christina. Just receive, Christina. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. I never did leave you. And I never did forsake you. You will see. Mm. You've seen restoration in a measure. Now you're going to see the fullness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Ray. I thank you for Ray. I thank you, Lord, for his life. I thank you for his calling. For that calling has not changed, son. I'm placing you in front of people that you will bring my word to. You will show them me. You will demonstrate me. For you will have works that I will manifest. For you will say what I tell you to say. Words in season will flow. <laughs> and they will know that you have been with me. Now receive the anointing. Take it off. Take it off. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. The anointing. The anointing. The hearts oh, all over you. Thank you, Lord, for Steve. I thank you for his life. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what he's done in business and in ministry. Uh, and yet, you only move two steps, son. There's three more I got for you. Even higher than what you've seen even greater miracles than what you've experienced. Yes, Lord, I'll tell him. Creative miracles are about to explode in your ministry as you step up and step out. Remember, you can't do it. You speak the words that I tell you, and I will do the works. Now receive the anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for my brother. Thank you, Lord. Just receive now. Just receive now. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. And a fresh fire. A fresh fire to minister to those that I will set before you. More. More of my anointing. More of my anointing. I thank you, Lord, for Luke. Let's take it all, Luke. Take it all. This is why you came. You came for this anointing. I release that fire. Let it flow in you now. Mm. Deeper, 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 a fresh fire of the Holy Ghost flowing in you and through you right now. Take it all. Take it all. Never to be the same. <sighs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Richard. Thank you, Lord, for Richard. Mm -hmm. Not only can I restore your health, I can restore everything else. Just believe me. Thank you, Lord, for Jerry. Take it all, Jerry. This is why you came. Take it, take it. You know how to drink. Take it all. Take it all. Take it all. Take it all, Christina. Take it all. Take it all. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. I release it now. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for Richard. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for his life. I thank you, Lord, for his wife. I thank you, Lord, for his time 
with you and his hunger for your word. Those that hunger and thirst, you said you would always fill. And Lord, as he continues his hunger, continue to fill him with your word and with, his, with your anointing. Koroma, Koroma Sare, Nesiro Osho Koro Mama Asakati, Nesikitiro Koro Mare Mio. I heard it so clear, Richard. The glory days are ahead of you. The glory days are ahead of you. Get ready for what the Lord is about to do. The glory days are ahead of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Kelly Ashton. I thank you, Lord. Health and wealth. Koma, koroma sare, nesiro oro mama 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 mama. I thank you, Lord, for Ted. I thank you, Lord, for Ted. I thank you, Lord. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Lord, I incline my ear to you right now. What would you have me? What would you say? What would you have me say to Ted? Shoroma, shoroma sare, mesiro, oro mama ma asakati, makasi mesikitiro, oro ma. Thank you, Lord. I am well pleased, says the Spirit of God, for you do say what I tell you to say. You are sensitive to my voice. You know my voice, and the voice of a stranger you do not follow. Now, as you know and obey my voice, for words in season to those that are around you, get ready, get ready, get ready, for you don't have to look at this one, you don't have to look at that one, you don't have to look at the other one. You speak my word in every situation to every person, and I will do the works, says the Spirit of the living God. Believe it, expect it, and receive it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for coach. Thank you, Lord, for coach. Just receive, coach. Just receive. Just receive an anointing to launch what I told you to launch. Step up, step out. You cannot do it, but I can if you will obey me. Thank you, Lord, for rich. Thank you, Lord, for rich. I thank you, Lord. Mm. Bless, Lord, everything these hands touch. May everything these hands touch, his businesses, businesses, I heard, prosper as he obeys you. Take it off. Take it off. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Just receive now. Don't move. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive the anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Going back different going back stronger, going back more powerful, going back with a greater anointing to flow. Just receive, Debbie. Just receive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't stop doing what you started doing in ministry. The business is wonderful, and it will grow, but there is so much I placed inside the two of you. Find the sick. Find the broke. Find the brokenhearted and use what I've placed in you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my brother. Thank you, Lord. Open doors, divine appointments. Open doors, divine appointments. It is not your plan. It is my plan that you're following. And it may not look like it will happen, but don't you be moved by what you see. Trust in me, saith the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Michelle. Thank you, Lord, for Michelle. Just take it, Michelle. Just take it. Take it. This is why you came. 
Let it flow, 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 flow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive now, Stephen. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. You walk up here, you're in the wall of the anointing. Don't contain it. Just receive it. Thank you, Lord, for my friend, Dr. Pancho. Thank you, Lord. Mm. It is my church, son, not your church. And I will build it. Your job is to hear and say my words. Rest in that. And don't carry that care. For in my time, you will see the growth that you hunger for. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it, Banzi. Just receive it. It's all over this place. It's all over this place. It is all over this place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> not just business. No, no, not just business, but ministry business and ministry. You can and do both. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it, Gary. Just receive it. You know how to draw on the anointing. A fresh fire shut up in your bones. Take it, take it, take it, take Thank you, Lord. Don't say a word. Just receive the anointing. Deeper Deeper, 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 deeper. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If we've not prayed for you, come now. We don't want to miss anybody now. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it, my brother. Just receive it. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. It destroys every yoke. Of bondage. Every yoke the anointing destroys. Take this fire into your business, into your ministry, into your family. Listen for my voice and say what I tell you to say. And you will see, as quickly as you've said it, will it manifest in your life. Take it, take it, take it, take it. All of it, all of it, all of it. I release the anointing. Thank you, Lord, for Bell. I thank you for Bell. I thank you, Lord, for him coming here with his team, bringing us into your presence. The anointing in your singing and preaching will increase from this day forward. For you have been faithful, says the Spirit of God, and those that are faithful in little will I trust with much. So get ready, son. Your business and your ministry is going to grow super, super abundantly, says the Spirit of God. Your faithfulness has proven anointing. Oh, let it flow. I thank you, Lord, for Raj. I thank you for Raj. I thank you, Lord. Strength, 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 strength in her body. For there is more I have in store for you, my child. More, more of my word, more of my anointing. Yes, I did not place all that word all these years for you to sit home. Uh, 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 uh. No, sickness will not hold you back. No, weakness will not hold you back. For the anointing that is flowing in you now will bring total restoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it. 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 Just receive it now. Just receive it. Uh-huh. Yes, you've had a measure of revelation, uh, but there is more. You know there's more. You just keep digging. You'll find those diamonds. You'll find them in my word. Just keep digging. The treasure is there. And when you get it, mm, 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 mm. be careful 
who you share it with. Because not everyone is ready to receive it. But you're ready. I will show you those people to share it with. I will direct you. Listen for my voice. And you will see that I will do the works. Take it all. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just receive. Just receive, Michael. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive it. Just receive it. And a fresh fire, and a fresh fire, and a fresh fire, and a fresh fire, and a fresh fire. Thank you, Lord, for Ron. Just receive it, Ron. Just receive. Just receive. You've contained the anointing. Don't contain it anymore. Mm -hmm. The turnaround is going to cause you to go higher, 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 higher. Be ready, says the Spirit of God. Whew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you watching on the internet, I release the same fire and the same anointing into your lives right now. Never to be the same. To be able to serve Him, to turn your life to Him, to say what He tells you to say. Do what He tells you to do. So those works that were manifested in the life of Jesus will be manifested in every city, every country, every continent that is watching me now, I release that anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's presence is all over this place. Man. God is just doing some awesome things. Never know, never ever know how to dismiss a service like this. So, September the 4th is when you need to mark your calendars to come be with us. If you're in this area, then next Friday, come join me. I'm going to be teaching on prayer right here. Come hang out with me. If you're, if you're not in the area, turn on your computer. It will be live streaming. You'll be able to get the same revelation. Amen. Prayer has been the foundation that launched and grew this ministry. And it is the same foundation today. Learn how to put it as a foundation in your ministry and your church. Amen? We've got book tables and university tables and all kinds of tables open over there. <laughs> you just go. Um, and uh, I'm going to pray a blessing over you. Uh, take one of those flyers. Sign up to come back in September. Was there something I was supposed to do? Theo? No? Okay. Have you enjoyed the conference? Yes. Remember, this is part one. September is part two. Amen. That's what I'm going to teach you about the greater. He said, you'll do what I do and greater. L let me pray a blessing over you and a blessing over our viewers all over the world on the internet. If you close your eyes for a minute. I thank you, Lord. For all the revelation that you gave us tonight. Holy Spirit, sir, let this word be implanted in every heart that was represented in this place and watching on the internet. Let this word produce 30, 60, 100 fold in every life that was represented. Bring to our remembrance these words, so we truly will attend and incline, and not be quick to speak, but be quick to listen, and slow to speak, that we would speak your words, because our life is not our own. We know we've been bought. We belong to you. And we know that you are waiting to deploy our mouth, to deploy the words that you want released for those works to manifest. 
We give that to you now, Lord. We are the ones you're looking for. You can speak to us. We'll speak it. We'll do it. We will obey. And we will release our faith. I thank you, Lord, for this conference, for all the people that have come, that not one is the same. We're leaving changed by your word and your anointing. I thank you, Lord, that you've given charge to angels to protect each one as we leave this place. Bring us safely to our destinations. Bring us safely to our homes. And then, Lord, I ask you, bring us back for more of your word and more of your anointing. And for everything you've done <laughs> and continually do in our lives, we will always, always, always give to you the glory, give to you the honor, and give to you the praise in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. If you agree with that prayer, somebody say amen. amen. Tell three people, attend and incline. I'll see you next month.